Hello friends, uh, today we will we'll do some uh, small plastic surgeries on these oranges. Suppose you have a lesion over here. Suppose you have a lesion over here and you need to you need to take this you need to take this lesion out okay so we'll excise this portion and we'll reconstruct locally with some flap so we have many methods uh, first i will show you advancement flaps so suppose i'm going to suppose i want to advance this portion ahead okay so what i will have to do is the amount of uh, advancement which I, which i want i'll have to excise that much portion of uh, triangles from here okay these triangles if i excise i can move this tissue i, I can suture this portion here and that that will make for uh, for advancement of this portion so whenever you are creating some advancement flap and all uh, you have to see that the width to length ratio should not be more than one is to four so if you see if this is one then this thing should not be more than four okay if that is happening then you will have to widen the flap at the base region you should widen it a bit otherwise your flap will get necros the, the, they'll be it will get deprived of blood supply so let us do this let us first excise the lesion i'm using a surgical blade Okay. Now let us excise these triangles. Uh, these triangles are also called burrows triangles, and these burrows triangles are used in many flaps, like this advancement flap and rotational flaps, for uh, getting a uh, extra length of the flap. Uh, some people use back cuts in case of rotational flaps. So this triangular portions I'll have to remove what I'll do is I'll just take this portion out this portion also I'll have to remove and then this is the defect I need to raise the flap for reconstruction so guys it will close something like this you can see it is coming close suppose this was the original location now it's coming here okay and it might close a defect like this if i do it forcefully okay like this okay thank you that's it for advancement flap now coming to other side uh, here i will show you a bilo flap so let us see how the bilo flap is Suppose this is the defect here. How a bilo flap is to be? You have to actually at around forty-five degree. You have to make a make a this kind of flap. Then you will need another extension here. So this defect which will form will be closed by this flap and this thing will be closed primarily and this flap will come here so this is how pilo flap is okay so this flap is a type of rotational flap let us see so now i'll, I'll let first excise the excise the lesion I'm going a bit gross here, so lesion is out. I'll raise the flap. Leaf-like thing will go here. This thing will come here. 
I'll have to undermine the, the entire area here in order to raise the flap and close the thing primarily. I don't have a suture here to show you how I'm going to actually close it. If I would have su have suture, I have tried this all these surgeries long before while my residency program then I used to actually suture it with some uh, extra sutures which we get in OT so this is how it is here I'll undermine this area I'll have to undermine this area also so, so as to close and now I'll have to rotate the flap so this thing will go here and this thing will come in the defect like this so now you see that the defect is nicely closed with this flap I, I, I would like to move it again for you so see this is how the defect will be closed here okay this thing will go into the defect okay you'll have to switch it there this thing will go here it will get closed okay and this defect which is there this will get closed oh, sorry this defect will get closed primarily again I'll have to take out the juices to actually uh, close this thing pro properly but this is how something something like this is your bilobe flap now uh, there are specific angles to the uh, these flaps which actually I have not gone very in very detail about those things so now uh, coming to the next surgery that would be a rhomboid flap so to close a rhomboid flap suppose here you have the lesion you actually need to draw a rhombus first here a rhombus like this and then you have to something like this I'll, I'll, I'll have to draw one parallel line here with the same width here and then this will be the thing okay so this is my legion this is how the excision will be and this is how the local flap will be moved from here because I don't have a PP handle here I'm holding the needle like that and it works very efficiently so this is how my lesion is out quite a quick surgery I'm doing right now and then guys this is how you can actually try the my multiple surgeries at home and this is a easy thing to do so I have lifted the flap this flap need to go somewhere there like that okay and that is how your defect will get closed and that this defect will will be closed primarily like this okay so that's it guys thank you thank you so much so rhomboid flap is done now now uh, let us try a, a rotational flap normal simple rotational flap suppose this is the lesion okay you want to close this lesion uh, all you need is a simple flap adjacent to it like this and just rotate it here if you can't uh, actually get this thing here you need to give a small back cut here and that will uh, that will increase the arc of rotation of this thing so this back cut will facilitate this thing coming here let us see we might not even need a back cut okay so this is how my simple rotational flap is raised now I can simply just rotate this thing here in this defect okay I need to simply rotate this thing into, into this defect and this por this portion this portion will get closed primarily like that like that it will get closed so one more thing 
uh, let us see vy closer okay suppose you have a lesion over here what you can do is you can actually excise this portion in a vy fashion like this let us see so like the arrowhead if you just excise it like the arrowhead like this then this portion you can close primarily and these two things you can close primarily so you will get a good uh, triangular suture over there so let us see how how that will be done suppose i ex suppose the, there is a lesion i'll mark an arrow like shape here i'll excise this portion I'll excise this portion like that. So this is how my lesion is out. Now I can I I'll have to undermine these areas nicely in order to get good primary closure. I'll have to undermine all these areas so somehow this portion will get advanced and will get closed like that and similarly it will come here here this side also and this portion will get closed this this will come like this here it will come like this and this portion will will get closed primarily like this and will form a straight line there uh, suppose this is the defect here okay uh, this is called o to z or we do s shape flap here so here suppose this is the defect we put a curve curvy incision there then another incision comes in opposite direction like this so this flap actually goes here somewhere here this thing comes here and then you get a straight line closer there so that is s z plus t so suppose we excise this lesion and we want to close it primarily what we'll have to do is let us do let us first excise the lesion so here I'm excising it and this is my s shape extension if I can't get good mobility, I'll have to give back cut here, there, in in this orange. But in actually, when we do this surgeries on face, we get good mobility of the flaps. We usually don't need anything else. So this is how my lesion is out. Okay, guys. So now let us raise the flaps. this is how my so this is the circular defect you see here and it will gently get closed like this so this is the circular defect here and if I just close this flap you'll get a straight line here right can you see that can you see that so this is how you'll get a Z kind of uh, stitch line okay so this is called O to Z. Plus T. Yeah, that's it. That's it for this lab. Thank you. So thank you guys. I think I have spoiled enough of my orange. Now I'll, I'll have to wash it and eat. More surgeries later guys. Stay tuned. Thank you.